everyone, what's up? I thought it would be really fun, not really fun, I thought it was time to do another how many meals we can get out of a $5 rotisserie chicken. However, my rotisserie chicken was $6.99 because I purchased it at our local um, market here. And they tend to be a little bit higher. So, you know, don't do what I do. Go to Walmart and pick up a, I think it's like $4.50 now, um, thing of chicken. I don't know how many meals I'm gonna get out of it, but I know for sure I'll get a main meal and I'm gonna get bone broth out of it. So there's two meals right there. Two main ingredients for meals. Um, it's becoming winter, so it's you know more time for soups and stuff. I've done one or two videos on this already and I'll try to link them link down below. But I'm thinking, well look, I have a lot of cabbage. So what can I do with chicken and cabbage? And I'm gonna make like an egg roll in a bowl with one of them, but I'm, instead of the pork, I'm gonna use chicken. But I'm gonna to have to find a way to kind of flavor it up because pork kind of is what flavors the egg roll in a bowl. Ours is gonna be a little bit more special because I have these rice paper. Um, they're what you would use to make like spring rolls. And you just get them wet in some warm water and then they're pliable and you can make spring rolls it takes forever to do but that's what I'm gonna do but all I need to do is make an egg roll in a bowl um, base and that's gonna be one meal tonight for dinner is not gonna be this because I have not that much time tonight for dinner I'm going to be making chicken pot pie with buttermilk biscuits. Again, I've got buttermilk that I need to use up, so I'm gonna use, um, I think Farmhouse on Moon, her recipe for this, but it's just kind of a simple one. But I like hers because then I don't have to have a cream of chicken or a cream of anything. She kind of just tells me how to do it. And then the biscuits I'll use, I use Bob's Red Mill um, biscuit thing, and I'll just put it on top. Uh, check the description box below for all the recipes of what I do. So that is two meals that I have planned for this right now, just using one or two, three chicken. For things like the egg roll in a bowl and for this uh, chicken pot pie, I can stretch that chicken a little bit, especially because we've got you know, vegetables as our filler and some starch. So without further ado, I'm gonna get started on peeling this chicken. And as always, when you go into the kitchen, you should always have a little right hand man. The culprit. Stop snitching my chicken. Go play with your kids. Go play with your siblings. Scram. Uh, I have kids, okay. Go play with your siblings. Look, she's even taking my handmaiden. I wanted to point out that these are four cup storage containers. I believe they're four cup. One quart, four cup. Okay, yes. One quart, four cups. So that's about two cups of chicken there. 
two cups of chicken is about a quarter cup of meat per family member and that'll be plenty that'll be enough for us so now I'm just going to get started on making the pot pie chicken and I'll get to that in a minute but I knew I wanted to grow flowers because I knew that there were flowers out there that were edible and most of them also have medicinal properties all my chicken laid on the bottom of this casserole dish so that's how much chicken it is and as you can see it's mostly covered I mean and some of us kind of piled on top of each other so plenty of chicken here and now we're just going to add our mixture to that We're back in the kitchen for another, <laughs> beans are done. We're back in the kitchen for another chicken dish. And this one, um, I'm kind of combining a couple recipes that I saw. I'm going to fry up some bacon that I have already done. I need a meal like that that I'm gonna bring to somebody tonight. Just learned that they're having a rough day. So it's a new mama. She, she needs meals just. She Done. Everything. She has everything. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're stopping now. So I'm gonna put some bacon together. Like I said, I'm kind of combining a couple meals that I saw, and I'm hoping this is gonna turn out good. So I'm gonna cook up some bacon. I have those chicken in there. I'm cutting up some red potatoes that we got from the food trucks. What else? I know we're gonna need chicken. We're gonna need some a green onion. And I'm trying to think if I want to do like a broccoli with it. I don't even think I have any broccoli. I was like, I'll just make a broccoli with it. I can't do broccoli. I don't have any broccoli. Um, I think all I have is a salad. So it's just what I can put together for this. And you're just going to throw it into a pan, cover it with um, foil and cook it, you know, I'm gonna boil these potatoes in some water to kind of get them soft because my chicken is already cooked. Um, things that I was seeing online just uses like raw chicken and other things that they've put together. But I'm trying to keep this, again, a very simple kid-friendly meal. I don't even know. 
yeah, I don't even know chicken and potatoes. I really think like some kind of vegetable, I really think broccoli would be good in this. You know how I was kind of thinking in my mind how we make this ham and potato and cheese and broccoli dish that my mom made growing up and I was thinking it's going to be kind of like that just with chicken and then I'm like well bacon always really flavors chicken well so we should add some bacon in there because I I pulled it out and then I can also make it as a I think that's her um <laughs> I can also make like a twice baked cauliflower and I think I'm going to do that as well so I'm just going to throw all the stuff together and just have this as my second chicken dish. Hello. Hello. And it'll be good. I'm hoping it'll be good. I'll taste it before I give it. But I think that's what I'm going to do. So first things first, you're going to take your chicken out and you need to cut up probably the number of potatoes. I think the number of potatoes that you have in your family. Now, since I have a large family of seven, I would probably only do like five-ish red potatoes. I think that's plenty because I have younger kids that don't need them all. But I think that's going to be a good number. For this family, they have two adults and some smaller kids. So, um, actually two adults, one's eating for two and a, and a child. So, I want to make sure that there is um, at least four potatoes in here. And let's let's do it. Let's cook this bacon up and let's make this dish. As usual, I got so wrapped up in what I was doing, I forgot to pick up the camera and film. So I did boil these potatoes for about 10-15 minutes. They are not all the way cooked. They are soft enough to bite down, but they're not all the way cooked. So that when you know when you put them in the oven, you can um, cook them a little bit more. This really needs broccoli, in my humble opinion. Put some broccoli in here if you have it. Um, so there's the chicken, there's the broccoli, there's cut up bacon in here, I sprinkled cheese, I sprinkled some green onion on it. Oh, I wish I had broccoli. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just going to put it in the oven for like 30 minutes and it should be all done. Everything should be finished up, heated up, oven for 350, 375 for 30 minutes. And that's what this <coughs> second chicken meal made today. So for the last chicken meal, remember how I was going to make egg roll in a bowl? Well, we ended up making a chicken salad because it is late. I was shopping today and I needed something quick and easy. And what better than to use the last of that rotisserie chicken? I've had people ask me why I chop my salad so fine. And it's because it was a tip that another mama taught me about nine years ago. She had brought me a meal when I had had my eight-year-old. Did I say nine years ago? Many years ago, <laughs> when my eight-year-old was born, and she brought a salad, and she said, I always chop my salad because then I get a lot more greens in me than I would have if I just used the leaves. And I thought that was brilliant, and I've been doing it ever since. So in here I just have cucumber, olives, grated carrot, um, the chicken. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, and we've got some nasturtium flowers that people can put on. And we're going to put some french fried onions. And that will be the last that I do with this chicken. I know I have shared this before. Um, so I will leave link down below a recipe that you can do with egg roll in a bowl and the leftover chicken. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.